What's up, my dear manners? It's time for another Stalker Only Challenge. We are at 5 point, almost 9 MMR. Let's take a look at the Grandmaster. Almost 5.9 MMR is around here, so we're like top 40 on the European server. Let's get this party started. Oh my god, game number one will be against Spirit. There's no way. There's no way I can win. I, I can barely win versus Spirit when I play normally. <laughs> now this is going to be one hell of a game. I think I will need to rely on cheeses or, or something like that. I don't think you can play a macro game here, so we're definitely going to be trying to all in cheese somehow, some way. We'll we'll see what I can figure out. A macro game is not possible to win. <laughs> like even if I would play completely normal, I think there's a high chance I would just lose. Like I would give myself maybe 30 or 40 percent chance to, to win a game. But now with stalkers only, I'm giving myself. I want to say zero percent, but it's not zero. It's like five percent chance that I can win this game. So this is going to be one hell of a story if I can do this. Let's see what kind of build he's going to be going for. <laughs> now that I am in a very high GM MMR, <laughs> it's. Increasingly more difficult because my name is literally stalker only, so I'm not really giving myself any kind of favors By playing with this nickname Proxy no no proxy Maybe eBay block no okay, Let's start the nexus then it's not a double gas opener, so we're relatively safe for the time being Check for the second gas again. It's not Command center. Yep. One thing about Spirit that I could have exploited here is he didn't SCV scout me. It's a marine first, even. Yes, maybe good. Maybe not. Actually, I think Frigate Stalker into Blink. See if it can work at all. Not sure if that's the right call. Because if he makes a bunker, there's nothing I can do. Maybe blink is blink faster, it may be better. But I'll still proxy a gateway, I think. So I think I will skip the robo for the time being. Or actually I can still go frigate, but that that, that that means I can only make one stalker. I'll make continuous pro production. And now I'll go for a second and third gateway. Oh, there's the Reaper. Okay, so, I mean, he confirms it's a blink by seeing a Stalker first. I mean, obviously, I literally named myself Stalker only, so he, he must know. I think there's a good chance he will, yeah, go to the natural with the, with the Reaper, I wanted to say. Okay, we can start blink now. There's probably going to be a Hellion and a Reaper at the same time now. I think that's very likely. Uh, I think I'll still go for Robo eventually. Like, I'm very scared of, like, Cloak Widow Mines or Banshee with Cloak or something like that. There's a good possibility he will try this kind of stuff. Uh, it's not good. I have no units here. That's already a disaster. That's what happens when you have only one single stalker. That's what I was talking about. At least I have a good warping point. Wait, what's that? Two marines? What is he doing? Are these misrallied? No. No way. I will have blank soon. Okay, I have a good warping point. Let's get the warp prism. I have blank down. This is actually pretty good timing here, to be honest. Let's see what we can get done. Oh, 
there's Widow Knight. But he has nothing here at home. There's a siege tank, we need to get rid of that. Okay. We need to micro our heart out here though. There's going to be a Widow Mind drop as a follow up. There it is. It's in the natural now. If he loses the Medivac, it's very good for me. I don't know. That's bad warping, by the way. He's gonna have one siege tank. But I don't know where this. enough. You can blink in. No way. I think we've done it, guys. There should be a siege tank. Oops! I am inspired. It's enough anyway. The proxy gateway! This is what I'm talking about. Well, there's not enough, so not a lot of suckers left, but. There's nothing you can do here as well. GG! Yes! <laughs> Let's go! That's a victory and a half. <laughs> Look at the timing with the stalkers, actually. This was so clean. The moment he flies in with the Widow Mines, like, I, there's nothing I can do to defend the Widow Mines here. There's nothing I can do. Like, I have no units. So I just didn't care. But like the moment I walk in with the stalkers, that's when he only has one siege tank. That's what makes it more beautiful for me. That proxy gateway is actually quite scary for a turn opening up with a widow mind drop. Because usually what happens, you defend the widow mind drop with the stalkers, you blink in on top of the medivac, you snipe the medivac or well they don't lose the medivac but like, they fly away, you don't take any damage, and then you walk across the map with the stalkers. But what I did here is I completely Ignore this this potential of a widow mind drop and he got as much damage as he possibly could. I wasn't even looking at it. <clears throat> and I walked across the map immediately before he had a siege tank. Let's see how much I actually lost here. That's a lot, like nine probes or something. So I'm already in his natural base before he has a first siege tank. And that's what really caught him off guard. Alright. That was sweet. We got a very big victory here. How many how much of them are? 43. We're closing in on 6k MR with that, let's go. <laughs> no way, man! Our good old friend Mr. Miyagi, man. Okay, what kind of trick do you have for us today, Mr. Miyagi? <laughs> I can't believe every time. It's Mr. Mr. Miyagi, man. Okay, so for, for those who are watching this episode for the first time, or I don't know, skipped some of the episodes, they, they're not up to date to everything that's happening on the on the challenges, we've been meeting Mr. Miyagi so often, and we even had an episode where we played Mr. Miyagi all the time, like three games or four games in a row. And he tried every single trick in the pocket to be uh, countering, uh, to counter my stalkers. He played like Nexus first, he played super greedy, he skips Robo, like he, he tries every trick that's possible. To snipe the stalkers and uh, let's see what he has in, in store today for us. He hasn't won versus us yet, which is nice. We gotta keep our uh, win ratio up. Like at this moment, I am, I think I am 
not going to be giving any kind of... How should I say it? Uh, leverage, any kind of... Disa uh, like disadva disadvantage to myself. I, I am trying to play as good as I can. No, 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 no. let me get a gas. Let oh, I'm not getting a gas, but can I get an Nexus? I can't get an Nexus. Okay, it's not the biggest deals. We can still start with a double gate, eh? He's investing a lot into the delay here. So we're gonna play double gate. Because both our Nexus and Gas is, uh, is taken right now, what I pretty much want to do is maybe even proxy a gateway. I don't know if that's the right thing to do. Maybe, nah, maybe I should just probe up. I should have blocked his Nexus. Why am I not blocking his Nexus? He's blocking mine. Okay, I really, really, really hope that he hasn't made a Nexus yet. I just completely blacked, uh, blacked out? Blanked? I don't know. Brain fart. Okay, there's no Nexus. I can block it. That's good. So that's our way to come back into this game. He's making a pylon. He's gonna make a cybercore here or something? I think he's gonna make a... A start way! No, 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 man! Come on, Stargate is very bad here. For you. Stargate is the worst thing he can do. You know I'm making Stalker only, we've played so many times. Right, it's not the biggest of deals. No, no, no. Please. We're both blocking each other here. He cannot shade in here. I lost the probe. He's making an oracle though. Honestly, I think he's about to die. No, oh, he's not gonna have to adapt here. I honestly think he's about to die to these four stalkers, man. I need more pylons because I, I wanted to use this pylon as a as a wall for the adept. Well, since the adept is dead, he's gonna have an oracle on the other side of the map. Oh, there it is. Let's use the battery health here. You can actually kill the the pylon here. He has nothing. Like he has, there's no secondary pylon here. I think he played it very badly strategically. Oh wait, there's a second pylon of the roll. Well, what now? He cannot make any units. No, what? What is this block? Hello? The other stalker could walk through, but this guy couldn't. I'm still not mining any gas, by the way. We're gonna have a super battery. Micro, please don't die. Oh, this guy is dead. Yeah, he played it wrong strategically. Because if you're uh, if you're investing so much into the harassment, because he blocked my gas, he blocked my nexus, he made an adept, you can't go target and oracle at the same time. Like I have double gateway. Oh, oh, oh. okay, there's a robot. Okay, so he's not dead yet. He's not dead yet. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe, wait, I can still kill the immortal here with five stalkers. Nice block with the probe. Right there, but if he doesn't have a battery here, he's still dead. I can make a lot of gateways here. I can just keep on rallying here. Take a third. Oh, there's a battery here. We can tell there's going to be a second immortal anytime soon now. Okay, he's dead. There's a warp gate, there's a second immortal. Let me just pop the barrier. Oh. Hey, hey. Let me try again. No, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. I would probably lose like four stalkers there. And it doesn't matter 
if I kill that immortal right now or if I kill triple immortal in just a I never started playing. It's okay, it was all calculated. It was all meant to be like that. Right now, uh, I want to attack him basically the moment I have blink. There is one problem for me though. That he might have... Hmm, he might have too many models for me by, uh, by then. Because I should have had the blink much faster. Ideally, in this situation, if I was allowed all units, I would have two adepts. Shade into the natural and then blink to the main because he cannot split his immortal ar ar army that easily. So he would ha have to sacrifice one or the other. With stalkers only, I can't really do that. I need the firepower to like one shot the, the immortals. And I kind of have that, but it's okay. I can still make it work. I'm, I'm, I'm sure I'm in a very good position here. There's no denying that. Let me just poke up. Let's see what he has. I'm gonna lose maybe one stalker here. He has three models already. Hmm. I wonder if this was one of the hallucinations. This is going to be a little bit tricky. Uh, I want to scout around the map if he has an expansion hidden. Okay, we have Blink now. Let's see what we can get done. Oh, I missed! Okay, I think it's still fine. He has no battery here. Now there it is. It's too late. I blinked forward and sniped one of my stalkers by attack moving. That's a that's a misclick. And a half. This kind of misclick actually happens to me so often. I don't know why that is. I'm way too eager. Shield battery is is done. The snipe the model here again. Oh, there's another one. That's okay. I just have so many stalkers here. I can blink again. There we go. Game over, GG. Mr. Miyagi, taken out yet again. He even made double robo this time. Did he have plus one yet? He hasn't, but a very good idea. Double Immortal with Forge. Definitely one of the best things that you can do versus this, but he was too far behind after the early game. <gasps> the unknown Protoss. Is he good? Is he bad? Is he higher on MMR than me? Is he lower? Whenever I start the challenges, the barcode processes that are on the rank, I'm not that scared of them too much. But because I'm such a high MMR right now, this guy could be a 6.4 Protoss or a 5.8. I, I can't know. I'll try to guess based on the gameplay. But I will definitely have to do my best in here to win this game. There's no slacking. Isn't this crazy? We are almost at 6,000 MMR with Pure Stalker. We're 60 MMR away. I would like to do like an anniversary video for 6,000 MMR. Well, not necessarily like an anniversary video, but make it... I hope it's going to be a good video because that's the ultimate goal for Stalker only. I think it will be a good time to switch Stalker only to Gateway Man. Which will allow me to make every kind of unit from the gateway, but still not use the robotics facility or Stargate. I think that will provide some very fun games. Double gateway. <coughs> uh, he hasn't scouted me yet, and I scouted after the gateway. There's no second pylon. There's the prop, okay. So I think it might be just standard. There it is, okay. Second pylon, probe scouted. Nothing out of the ordinary just yet. I'd like not to interrupt my mining too much. Okay, he got the middle, that means he cannot harass me anymore with the probes. I don't need to watch my middle line for too long. Then I start with double stalker. 
Uh, I think even... Oh, even uh, start with like a Frigate Stalker. Continuously make probes. I want to see if there's anything we can do with that. Oh, come on. No, 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 I don't want to lose the probe. Oh, he's blocking the... No, that's... He's not going to achieve anything with this. Ah, I will lose the probe. I will lose the probe. Mm, that's not good. Okay, I think we need to change the plans then. Because I would love to keep that stalker... Sorry, with that probe on the other side of, my, uh, of the map. Because that's why I chronobusted the gateway, but... Anyway. That works out somewhat well. He wastes hundreds of minerals on the pylon. I'm trying to fake him out by going up the ramp. If he was watching, he was like, okay, maybe you're not going to be expanding from moving your probe up. I start the Twilight Council. I'll actually chronicle out the warp kit again. We'll walk out on the map. It should be probably four stalker versus four stalker if I had to guess. But we might meet in the middle of the map. I want to keep that in mind. Trying to position my stalk as well. Okay, it's two stalkers here. Does he have anything? He doesn't actually. No, that's not good. That gives me an idea. He's probably starting either with a Stargate or a Twilight Council himself. And that's probe that was walking. Probably just scouting me to be honest. Let's start with a robo. Maybe there's a DT shrine. I highly doubt that but it's a possibility. Let's kind of boost. Oh no. Okay that's actually very good. He's gonna lose the oracle. That's very good. That's actually perfect. That is so good for us. Because right now we can actually walk across the map with eight stalkers. That's not a lot. But if he's investing into the second oracle in this moment, that means his army is going to be slightly smaller. I will still invest into a shield battery in the natural base because that's going to be useful in the later stage of the game. And I'll warp in two stalkers in the main base. But I want to poke around with the eight stalkers. Eight stalkers is enough to two shot a stalker. He has only four. He's in trouble. He's blocked himself. Oh, this is what I was talking about. That's the second oracle he invested. So he's not getting getting any value out of that. And he leaves the game exactly as I planned it to. So remember what I said, if he's going to invest into the second oracle, which he did, he's not going to have enough army to stop my army, which he didn't. Perfect execution of the strategy uh, from my side and understanding of the situation in the game. He also went for the third nexus super super early before the Twilight Council or pretty much at the same time. He played extra greedy here. If I had to guess, we don't know what his MMR uh, was, but if I had to guess, it was either a 6.2k MMR Protoss, that's just a wild guess, or this guy was 5.6. Let's see. 5.2, okay, never mind. <laughs> I was a bit off. <laughs> For Jimmy, it's another uh, good Protoss player from Germany. If I'm not mistaken, he has even qualified for Dreamhack as one of the top 32 players in Europe. So good on him. I think I think we had one game versus him. But I don't remember if it was with Stalkers only or like Phoenix Immortal or something. Maybe we haven't. Maybe I'm just uh, mixing my, my stream or like my own practice. But I think we played versus him and he cannon rushed me. That's, that's what I remember, but... I think it might have been on stream, not necessarily here on YouTube. Anyway, let's let's try to kick his ass. <laughs> let's try our best. That's going to be a juicy MMR bank as well. We're gonna start uh, the game very similar to the previous one, however... We need to be much more uh, aware of a potential cheese or all-in. Forjumi is very good at that. He likes his proxy robot, proxy stargaze and all kinds of all-ins. 
And he's also not bad in the macro game. He's a tricky player to play against. And with Stalker only, I only have a limited amount of things that I can do. It's a second pylon, an important indication in Protoss versus Protoss, once again. That there is going to be probably not an all in, early on at least. Obviously there could be a proxy third pylon, but that means he is delaying his attack. This looks completely standard so far. Oh, he got the middle. It's gonna boost out the warp gate. Oh, he does the same. <laughs> That's funny. I wonder if he's going to go for a frigate robot then. I'd like to confirm what units he goes for from the gateway, but I'm a little bit afraid of losing. Oh, oh he's gonna lose the probe. Okay, he loses the probe. That's good. Is he moving out with whatever he has? Probably not. Or maybe he already walked out. Oh, we can block the Nexus. There's nothing here. This could be Adepts, actually, from his side. Very likely, I think. It's very good for us, then. No tech building. Yeah, it is Adepts, indeed. Let's chase these. These left are in trouble. Oh, very trouble. It's gonna shade him again. To lose one of the adepts. This is probably a proxy oracle if I had to guess. If oh, ah, what was that? What was that building? I didn't get to see. It is stalkers. I think it's a Twilight Council based on the uh, based on the size of the building. I could be wrong though. But I have to confirm that. We have six stalkers. That's pretty nice. Uh, he has four stalkers now in the Nexus. It might be a Twilight Council after all. I think with the amount of stalkers he has. I don't think there's much I can do here. With the stalkers. The sentries, okay. Let's warp in stalkers then. This is definitely not a Stargate then. He would not be able to afford sentries. And this amount of stalkers at the same time, if it was a target, he would have to invest into uh, into the Oracle or something like that. And Oracles and Stargate itself is very gas expensive. Uh, I think I'll go for a Robo right now, I think. I would like to confirm if he has a proxy gate or something. Well, not right now, but like later on in the game. That's also a possibility. I'm being very cautious. I need to warp in. I wanted to make a probe. But I think warping in stalkers is more important at this moment. I have 12 units. Let's make a... Oh, oh, oh hello. Ah, I can't... Can I? I can't. That's bad. He's gonna scout the robot timing as well. I wonder if I can do something with Blink. He's already moving out. It isn't a model. What? That was a Robo? That was a Robo. Hmm. Huh. Now this is an interesting situation. I don't have a shield battery here. Yet. Link, please. Okay, now it finishes. I think I'm safe for now. Wait. Did he just walk out? Did I over defend this? I feel like I have invested too much into the defense. 
Yeah, he's just going back. He's definitely going to fly with the warpism, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Let's see if we can find something. He's gonna fly in now. Unless unless not. Definitely find some damage here. He doesn't have blink, so he's flying in with the warp prism. Wait, what? Okay. He's surviving. That was good, that was very good sequence, very good uh, unit movement from me. I wish I, had, I lost a little bit less to the Adepts. And I have an Observer, I do. I'd love to add additional gateways now. I'll try to blink in on top of an immortal because I think he's going to be splitting his army right now. So I want to blink in on top of the immortal, one shot it. You can see his army is a bit split. That's very expensive by me. I don't know about that blink from him though. Just a bit over eager. Again? Okay. Let's try stalkers then. That's very bad by him, no? Why would he blink forward? Without a warpism or anything to catch up? That was a bit over eager, mister. Jumi? Now you don't have the stalker count anymore. GG! We made it! We actually made it! That was clean! He was going for disruptors? Mate! No, 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 no. I mean, if you're if you're defending an attack, the, de the defense was okay. But chasing after me, blinking forward while you are attacking the disruptors, is not good. You need to keep your unit counts up. GG! Oh, we're at 5.972? We're almost at 6k MMR. I feel like in the next episode of Stalker Only, we will be able to reach 6k MMR if we win all of the games. So I'm looking, looking forward to the next episode of uh, Stalker Only. Thank you so much for watching this one. I wish you a pleasant rest of the day. Let me know in the comment section what did you think of the games. I think the games were fantastic. Very, very high level. We're top 40 GM and we're, we're only getting higher with only stalkers. So once again, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel. A lot of you guys are, are uh, non-subscribers, but as long as you watch, I don't, I don't mind. So. I'll see you in the next episode. Take care and bye-bye.